So in 2003, NASA launched two different identical rovers. One of these was called Spirit, and the other one was called Opportunity. You may have heard of them. Now, they each went to a different place on Mars, but in 2004, when Spirit landed, it landed in a place called Gusev Crater. Now, this is a giant, like, 150 kilometer wide crater that I guess got formed when Mars got absolutely smoked by some sort of meteorite. I was recently scrolling through NASA's website and some of the 3D models they have publicly available, as one does, and I came across a model of Gusev Crater and it looked really cool. So, I'm gonna take this piece of cherry that's all glued up and I'm going to use my CNC router to carve the crater into this. And then we'll finish it up and it'll be very nice. So to start off, I'm using a quarter inch spiral flute upcut end mill to remove most of the material. For this operation, we're not really worried about surface finish or cutting it down to its final dimension. We're just trying to remove most of the material so we can come back with a smaller end mill for our finishing passes. The 2.5D toolpath we just ran on this means that all the topography is made up of terraces. Additionally, there is still about 100 thou of material across the entire piece. So I'm going to use the same quarter inch end mill and do a finishing pass just to get it closer to final dimension. With that, I can clean up the remainder of the material with an eighth inch ball nose end mill. This will allow me to have a pretty decent surface finish right off the machine, even in the intricate and detailed areas. Now the only thing left to do is to spend way too much time with a piece of sandpaper and a Dremel, and then we'll be ready to put some clear coat on it and it'll be done. One final thing I did do was to hit some of the edges with a heat gun just to give it a little bit of darker color. I mostly did this just because I thought it would look good and it would resemble the surface of Mars a little bit more. But now we are finally ready for finish. As always, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm super happy with how this turned out and I'm excited to do more projects with my router. 
So I will uh, see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>